We are sharding our gas hole at the moment. We are sharding our Darth Revan hole. We are sharding our assault battle holes. We're sharding all the holes at the moment. Greetings and hello there to all my nooglings and nooch lifers and everybody out there. Good to see you today. It's 30 weeks. We are 30 weeks into spending $100 a week on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes to see where it gets us. So far, it's gotten us four Galactic Legends. Uh, it's got a Star Killer. All the Lightspeed bundles have been a big deal. Right now, we are uh, we're we're farming for stuff in the future. We'll talk about that in a minute. And we're kind of waiting for Jar Jar. But before we do anything else. I haven't shown one of these in a while. Let's give a big old uh, pricing update here. So at 27 weeks, we had spent $27.63. We, we did our normal Kyratex. We did our Relic Cargo Pack. We Generally, those three packs are an automatic purchase every week. The, Re the Kyratech Packs, the Relic Cargo Pack, they're just really, really good deals, and they make a lot of sense for any roster. At 20 bucks a week, basically, you get them for 5% off on the web store if you haven't been using the web store. Then I bought some crystals, crystals, crystals. Those are bonus crystals that were available uh, a few weeks ago in March. Then I actually had a week of vacation. I took oh, I took a week when I was spent, uh, spent time with my best buddy Cosmo. And I only spent five bucks that week on a dark side currency bundle to finish off, <laughs> oddly enough, my Jedi Master Luke ultimate on the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren journey. If you don't know what's going on there, go look at past videos until I talk about that. Then last week, um, I spent uh, 40, 50 bucks on a crystal gift. I did a crystal exchange. I showed it to you guys here last week, I believe. Yeah, we showed that to you happening. Then I bought the Gungan Boombadir bundle. So we're, we're actually, we're in the process of farming a Jar Jar right now. So the Gungan, Bo Go Gungan Boombadir. Then I bought a Juhani and Bass Lashan bundle for like, I think it was 80 shards for each of them. We'll talk about that shortly. That puts us where we are today. 29, 65, 82. So... Just shy of $3,000 over 30 weeks, 100 bucks a week in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Here's that Gungan Boomadir. I've got him at 51 out of 85 shards right now. The uh, They made Boss Nass available pretty quickly in the store to get with some crystals, but Captain Tarpals, or Tarpals, or whatever we're called, is not available yet. I'm trying to avoid using these packs. Uh, excuse me, I'll bring this over. Can I scroll this over? Oh, I can't. Let's go over to the right. I don't even know how the music's going to be. I didn't test it, but I'm trying to avoid uh, using, buying these bundles, these right here, if I can at all, because this is a $300 journey, and, you know, once every two years, you'll hit 330 shards, whatever. This is this is a $300 journey, and I... I if I have to buy a bunch of these to get uh, the Phalanx when it comes out in order to get Jar Jar, then I'm probably not going to have Jar Jar on day one, which is going to stink. My only other option would be to, to blow like an entire month's worth of spending in one week, and I do not relish that idea at all. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens with Jar Jar here. Hey, like and subscribe, everybody. Uh, if you haven't liked and subscribed, great things happen in your life. All sorts of good things. People have had bags of cash out of the sky their neighbors bring him cookies and the ladies or the gentlemen all love you when you like and subscribe anywho um so what else is going on with the account other than working on jar jar and kind of sweating out these uh tarples and boomadier shards i need these shards to be available so i can get these guys to seven stars and start relicking these guys as well uh well i'm farming for the future right now i am sharding for the future. That's what's happening right now. We are sharding our gas hole at the moment. We are sharding our Darth Revan hole. We are sharding our assault battle holes. We're sharding all the holes at the moment. Uh, and you can see it all right here. Here is Juhani being sharded. I've got Sith Bass Lashan Fallen done. Shock T is my last piece that would be needed for gas. Marin I'm getting for my Night Sisters so that I can work on that assault battle. Uh, Shore Trooper and Range Trooper, I'm, I'm sharding separately for the, uh, uh, Range Trooper would be for the Rebel Roundup to get it to max it out at, at Tier 3. Shore Trooper would, or, is, yeah, Shore Trooper I believe is for the Endor Escalation to shard, to get that to challenge Tier 3. So, I'm sharding all these Assault Battles and Gas and, and Darth Revan. Let's talk about Darth Revan for a little bit. You guys know that I had farmed... Uh, Jedi Knight Revan here recently. I got Karth and T3 for the Lightspeed Bundles. I got Jedi Knight Revan here and Jolie Bindo. Um, I farmed those guys up to have as part of my... Uh, back when I when I first started the account, as part of the Crate Dragon Raid, and I really felt like not only would it be great to have an older public team in there with Jedi Knight Revan, but in, in the Crate Dragon Raid, but he's just a great character to have, so I've got Jedi Knight Revan on the squad. But I don't have Darth Revan yet, 
So I'm working on Juhani. Juhani is my last seven star that I need to start gearing up for Darth Revan, which I will do when I get him. And what my goal is to have a, a day where I come on to the channel, we'll do a stream, we will do the Darth Revan and the Darth Malak event all in the same day, which I think we'll be able to get done. Once I get these guys up and get them geared up, I should be able to gear them to a level sufficient to do both events. It's nice to have Carthon Nassi already there at Relic, and I think 17.5 was the minimum, so Basil Sean is already minimum. And of course, I'll probably invest in Zalbar to get him to 17.5 at the time. I'm, I'm gonna wait right now, I'm not gonna do it right now. Reason being, I just kind of, I, I want to, I'm still in kind of the holding pattern and hoarding pattern for the Gungans. I'm holding and hoarding for Jar Jar right now, while I also shard my Darth Revan and Darth Malak. But let's look at my gas progress. So, I'm really trying to fill in these core teams at the moment. If you look at where I am for gas, uh, I've got 3PO done, I've got General Kenobi done, Ahsoka is done, Padme is not Relic, where's Padme? I don't think I have to have her, yeah, Padme is gear 12, she'd probably be usable here. And again, I'm farming those shock T shards. So to get her to seven stars, I probably will have her. If you look at uh, three and a half a day or whatever, and I so ten days, so a couple weeks I'll have shock T complete. And then if you look over at the separatists for my gas farm here, um, I've got them all farmed, although not geared at all. I've got B1, B2, Droidica, Mag, just not geared at all. So the Revens will be first, and then gas will be next. And then my assault battles. You look at my Night Sisters for Secrets and Shadows. I've been kind of doing. Uh, I think I've, I think I got to tier. I can always get to tier one with the Phoenix. Tier two has been really iffy. Not great. The first time I did it, it worked, and then it hasn't worked since. So I'll be needing to gear up this uh, top row here to get after that assault battle once I get Marin. It's not worth it until I get Marin. She's not double shard farmable yet. She's only single shard farmable here. She'll be double shard farmable pretty soon. I didn't look at the date, but it should be very, very soon here. And so that's a, a an assault battle I want to get after. And we look at my Imperial Troopers because they work for both Rebel Roundup and the Endor Escalation. We're gonna have, I'm gonna have to probably Relic Veers. So I'm looking at that team for I. It, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I be, believe Rebel Roundup is you go with Veers, Piet, Range Trooper. Um, Stark, and then uh, maybe even Shore Trooper there. I'm not sure. Maybe Dark Trooper. I think I can put it together a team for Rebel Roundup to get me to challenge tier three and get it done. I, maybe I would have done it with this Scout Trooper team here. I don't know. And then Endor Escalation. You just take a beating in Endor Escalation. That's where you need that tank out there at the beginning with that initial taunt with Shore Trooper. Comes out taunts right away. Uh, it'll have to be a Relic character. To endure the beating from those Ewoks on tier one of that uh, of indoor escalation, but once I get, I think it's called, is it called indoor escalation? I don't know what these assault battles are called, but once I get that, I'm hoping to get to challenge tier three of that assault battle as well. And of course, Darth Revan will help me to get to the the uh, challenge tier three of the uh, is it ground? No, it's not ground where I've already got that done. The uh, the Jedi one, which I can't remember the name of that. So I'm working on all, working on completing and finishing all my assault battles right now. Which we think about that. Uh, let's go look at these guys. This is going to be a farm for me after Jar Jar. You know, I'm going to be working on Darth Revan while working on Jar Jar, and then gas is along the way. But after Jar Jar, my next massive big farm is going to be the Inquisitors and getting Grand Inquisitor. I need him on this roster. I need to be contributing to my guild to get those Reva shards. We're getting close. We're getting close. I'm more than halfway to Reva, so that's a nice thing. But I need to get the Inquisitors up so I can do those two assault battles every month as well. So that'll be a big priority on the account after finishing Jar Jar. Uh, what else am I working on? Well, you can see Sith Assassin here. I'm actually keeping Leviathan, you know, in my mind down the road because improving grounds, I'm probably like four to six months away from Malgus and his three class interceptors. So. I look at getting Leviathan done this year along with Profundity as well this year. I think I'll get the Profundity and Leviathan. So I think the farm's gonna go like this. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do Darth Revan and, and Malak right now. We're gonna be getting Jar Jar. Then we'll go to Inquisitors. And then we'll be going, we'll be getting gas somewhere in that range. In the meantime, there'll be light speed bundles. Maybe we'll get Sith the Turtle out of a light speed bundle along the way. We'll see how that comes out. And then I'll be, and maybe Profundity. Profundity would be great I'd be, to get those characters relics. So I'm going to kind of wait on that. But Profundity along the way, and then Leviathan, and then maybe another Galactic Legend, some, uh, maybe the new Galactic Legend, 
So we'll see how the rest of the year takes us in 2024. But what am I farming right now? Well, you can see I've got Marauder almost done here. My Bad Batch would need to be farmed at some point. But you can also see that I'm kind of working on these Sith ships as well. TIE Dagger, Sith Fighter, B-28, Mark VI Interceptor. I'm working on all these things to make sure that I'm ready for Leviathan when, you know, when I get all the Darth Malgus and the Fury Class Interceptor, the Scimitar. I'm getting all that farming done for Leviathan. But also, I'm farming comeuppance. Comeuppance is actually my cantina farm at the moment. I want to get this finished. I want to... I've got Radis now at five stars. It'll be seven stars sometimes. I'm not I'm not rushing my way to seven stars on a Radis. Old camera in the pick. If you made it to this point in the video, make sure to get me an old camera. <laughs> just put old cam in the comments. Let me know you're out there. We'll pin one of them. You guys can all just like it. Let me know if you saw the old cam up there, right up there in the corner. It was right here. Anywho, um, the comeuppance. So the comeuppance, since I got the Radis here, I'm farming the comeuppance, and I've got Zori Blissett Gear 12, and I'm working on her. I actually could relic her right now, but again, I'm waiting for, I'm hoarding for Jar Jar at the moment. So, and that would be the nice, so, <laughs> back to, let's talk, so there, I'm farming all this stuff on the side. Let's talk about Jar Jar for a minute. So, I am hoarding the gear. You can see that I've got Zori Bliss, I can relic her, I can relic Sign, which I need to do, I can relic Padme, which I need to do, I need to get these guys relic, but, but... If I end up spending a truckload of crystals and money to make sure I get Jar Jar day one, which I'm not thrilled about that, then I want to make sure I've got all the gear hoarded. So I'm just I'm just holding on to all the gear and all the Zetas I can at the moment. As far as Zetas, I haven't added it to Captain Tarpal, so that's an Omega. We'll talk about Omegas in a second. There we go, 35 out of 20. So I'm just hoarding all of these that I can right now for my Gungans. Now let's talk about something interesting that I found out, and that's kind of the update on the account, but I did not know this because I've never had to worry about Omegas before in my life. In the weekly shipment, did you boys and girls know this? You can buy five Omegas for 825 Mark I currency. I think you should do this every single week of your life until the day you go, until, until the day you just, you're just maxed out on Omegas. I have been struggling. I have more Zetas than Omegas right now on my account. So I'm going to be saving up 825 Mark I currency every single week. And I'm going to be popping this and getting my Omegas. It's cheaper than, than getting it with all those crystals. Bam, there's my Omegas. Now I got 28. It's cheaper than doing it in the store. These deals have been available to me. Now there's only one Zeta. Actually, I, I've been had four Zeta. But you say I can get 30 Omegas here, but it's 3,200 crystals. And 3,200 crystals is like uh 23 24 dollars for 30 omegas i'm trying to avoid doing that i really don't want to spend 24 dollars on 30 omegas if i don't have to i wish i'd been doing those weekly omega buys along the way in the weekly so make sure if you're not getting those omegas in the weekly shop that you are doing that it's really 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 important one final thing before we go i did buy my chirotech bundles this week getting back into the swing of things here so we're gonna go ahead and claim those chirotech salvage bundles thank you very much i'll be getting my uh, what was that thing called again? Um, the, uh, the, uh, Relic Cargo Pack. I'll be getting that as well this week. Kind of getting back on the swing of things after a couple of kind of odd weeks where I, I took a trip and then we were supposed to have a bunch of family come in and we didn't. Just had some a lot of real life stuff going on the last couple of weeks. So back into the swing of things on the account, waiting for Jar Jar, sharding the future, sharding assault battles, gas, etc. Darth Revan. Let me know how you're doing out there. I'd love to hear about it. How's the account looking? Am I missing something? I will talk to everybody very soon. Have a great day, and always remember, Nooch too good.